Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight, and I've got my uh, MX21 booted up here, and I thought I'd show you how to run through a simple install using the um, uh, automated uh, regular install. So I'll launch the installer. You can see we now have a link in the wel MX Welcome. There's also a link on the desktop. So what the regular install gives you is a couple of new options. In the past, it set up a very particular configuration, but now we have the ability to set a slider here so that we can have a, root, a separate root and home partitions built by the auto install setup. You can use a slider. You can use arrow keys to kind of dial it in. It goes in percentages, and you can choose your disk here. You can also encrypt. If you choose to encrypt a regular install, it's going to encrypt the root partition. If you have a home partition, the home partition, and the swap partition. It does make a swap partition. I have a 20 gig disk, and as you might notice, this adds up to roughly 19 gigs. So you can see that I probably got one gig of swap that's going to get made on this. I'm going to click next, use the whole disk layout. And there it goes. Now from here, it's pretty much a standard MX installation uh, that you may have seen in the past. You can choose where, if and where, to install Grub. And you can fill in your computer names and if you have a Samba server working and the name of your Samba workgroup, if you'd use that. That's like uh, Windows Shares primarily. <clears throat> and then you've got your localization settings and your service settings if you want to disable any services out of the gate. If you don't know what you're doing with disabling services, just don't fool with it. And then you can set up your default user account. Now by default, everything in MX21, by default, uh, uh, the GUI prompts for authorizations, for admi admin authorizations, authentications, it's going to default to your user password. Some people call that their sudo password. It's not really sudo, uh, but whatever, it's your user password. Uh, if you want to have a root, a, a, a root account, you can set up the root account here and set up a root account. It's not created by default. Uh, and you could switch the authentication in MX Tweak. You can switch that to root um, after installation if you want to for GUI prompts. Uh, handy if you're in a multi-user uh, multi uh, environment on a, on a PC. I'll set mine to auto login and this save live desktop changes. If you want to see an absolute clinic on live desktop changes, check out PCTLC's YouTube channel. He's done, uh, Colin there has done a uh, series of installations on MX Linux and he's particularly enamored with the live desktop changes because it lets you change things on your MX desktop and then it will sync that to your installed user account, uh, at least the first user account when you install it to your desktop. That's pretty simple. System's going to quit. It's going to finish copying. It's going to install Grub. It's going to update the init RAM FS, and then it's going to give me an option to reboot. A lot of people ask, uh, "How do I install in UEFI mode?" If you boot the USB in UEFI mode, it will install in UEFI mode. It will install Grub and it'll give you the Grub options to install UEFI. If you don't boot with UEFI, we don't. We, 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 it'll only offer the old legacy uh, Grub installations. There we go. It's finished. I get a checkbox saying to automatically reboot the system when I close the installer. It's just that simple. For ships, tricks, and how to's, head over to mxlinux.org or annexlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.